Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, random. Very random. Shout out to my man, Dave Cali, Cali's Groom Room. Y'all make sure to check him out on IG and on YouTube. I'll have both of those accounts linked below conveniently for you guys. He was sending me a decant of a specific iris fragrance that he swears I'm going to love that I've seen the note breakdown before. Been a little while since I've seen. Iris fragrance. Pretty confident I'm going to love as well. Cream of the crop for the line. From what I understand, it's between this and the Eau de Parfum, but I thought he was just sending me a decant. Little did I know, I got a package in, and it's definitely a much bigger package than you would expect to see a decant in with a lovely handwritten note. You know, thank you, Dave. I greatly appreciate it. This man went out and bought me a 50ml Bleu Noir Parfum. He was just supposed to send me a decant. The man bought me a damn bottle. R ridiculous amount of kindness. That was so unnecessary, but I am so thankful for. I'm confident I'm going to love this one. I've been eagerly wanting to get my nose on this one. Hence the reason I'm just getting a decant from Dave. But we're going to bust this open. We're going to smell it. Then we're going to check the notes. Because like I said, I've looked at the notes before. I don't remember it. I, like outside of Iris, I don't know what the hell else is in there. But we're going to check it out. See if the hype is real on this one. Because I've heard it's amazing. And that I would love it. So stay tuned. <laughs> So this is my first fragrance from the house. I'm digging the bottle design. Love blue. Blue and gray are my two favorite colors. Here we go. Narciso Rodriguez for him. Bleu Noir. Parfum. I'm hoping it's everything I've heard it is. Cap clicks into place very strongly. Plastic, but has an interesting texture to it. Actually, for being plastic, it doesn't feel cheap. I have to say, it doesn't feel cheap. We're going straight on skin here. Tall atomizer for the bottle. Two good sprays. Great atomizer, by the way. Ooh, it's a creamy, buttery type of iris. I smell it. I smell it. Okay, I'm immediately reminded of fragrances like Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum. I'm immediately putting it in that family. This has some more woods going for it. Like this is in the family of that creamy buttery iris. Little bit of waxiness to it, but more creamy and buttery overall. But this has different facets to it. It's not just sweetness and leather. There's a nice woody tone kind of just sitting there. It's not overtaking the fragrance. I don't know if it's sandalwood because the fragrance is so creamy. It could be sandalwood. But there's a woody facet to this fragrance that jumps out immediately at me. Something fresh and spicy at the same time. Like an herb of sorts, like that type of spice. It's not really much of a peppery spice. I'm not saying that's not in there, but it doesn't come across as a peppery chili pepper, black pepper, anything along those lines. This is amazing. It is. Everybody that said I would love this, you were right. Everybody that said I liked, I would like this, you undershot it. It's more of a love. Yeah, this is going to get an outstanding first impression rating. This is better than Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, and I've just recently talked about that one. I rave about that one for this time of year. And I'm still going to wear it, but whew, this jumps the line. This is real good. I really need to try the Eau de Parfum as well, because I don't know if it's the oil concentration that's adding this robust, thick, nature making it more creamy than it would have been in a different oil concentration that could be the case i'm not sure we have to look at the note breakdown i'm very curious i'm saying there's something herbal green spicy lightly just kind of there not overtaking pretty well balanced here creamy buttery iris very buttery woods and that's really all i'm getting from it at the moment as it dries, I'm sure it will change, but I'm super eager 
to know what in the hell is in this note breakdown. So we're going to pull up Parfumo. And I'll get it on screen for you guys. Okay, here we go. For him, Bleu Noir Parfum. Let's see. New release from this year. Top notes of bergamot, mandarin, cypress, and cardamom. There it is. Cypress and cardamom. There's the green spice. Literally, fresh green and spice right there in the top. The heart is musk, iris, and suede. Okay. Okay. Base of tonka bean. Sweet and powdery. I get that. Vetiver, sandalwood, blue atlas, cedar, and leather. There is a little bit of a leathery facet like that Dior Homme type of tie-in, but it's not overdone. Maybe as it dries, it'll become more of that. But what I get right now is the fresh green spice. I get the super buttery iris and a creaminess and woods. And I'm not surprised to see sandalwood in this note breakdown. It makes sense mixed with vetiver that could be coming across as a fresh woody vetiver. Blue Atlas Cedar, which adds to the woody facet. This is lovely, thick, robust, creamy. If you like creamy scents, this is very creamy. As it dries, it is getting a little bit more leathery, more suede than suede leather than smooth leather. Like it's got that kind of fuzziness that a good suede accord can have. And this is definitely a good one. This is so good. This is so good. Damn. I don't know if I started with the best one, but I started with a great one, if nothing else. Um, I'm going to need to check out the Eau de Parfum. I'm sure I can just blind buy that one. These are the types of fragrances that are blind buy safe for me. Uh, so I could probably just blind buy a 50 ml of the Eau de Parfum. It is getting much more, like, almost an animalic touch. I don't know if it's the musky nature and the suede accord and the leather, all of that kind of working together to create this lightly, like, uh, raw, almost rawhide animalic tone to it. It's definitely more on the suede than the leather side, but it's, it's kind of rough. But when I say rough... There's so much creaminess to the iris in the woods that it smooths it over and kind of takes the edges off like it wants to be rough. There's that, that aroma's there, but it, the edges have been smoothed off because of the creaminess to this fragrance. Damn, this is good. I'm very impressed by this fragrance. Wow. Wow. This is jumping into my rotation immediately. I will be doing a full review in the near future. I need to spend some time with it, but I can tell you right now, this is incredible. This has been missing from my collection. I'll probably have that somewhere in the title or the thumbnail, that this is clearly an iris fragrance that I've been missing out on. I mean, it's a new release from this year, but we're at the tail end of the year, so it's been out for a while now. So beautiful, powdery iris. God, I love a good iris note. This is a great iris note. This is fantastic. Anybody that loves iris should sample this at minimum. That's my quick first impressions on Narciso Rodriguez. For him, Bleu Noir Parfum. Thank you again to my man, Dave Cali for sending this my way. I was not expecting this. I was anticipating a little decant from his bottle, which would have been plenty, which... I would have fell in love all the same. This aroma is magnificent. This is an iris lover's type of fragrance for sure. And if you're an iris lover, you really should get your nose on this. I'm a little late to the game, not too late, but a few months late to the game. But this stuff is magical. It's jumping in the rotation immediately. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this already? What do you think about it? What do you think about the Eau de Parfum? I'm confident I can just blind buy that one because I love the Parfum. And I know the Eau de Parfum is another iris fragrance. I don't know about the EDT, but I know the EDP is an iris fragrance. And uh, I'm going to need to get my hands on that because this is magnificent. This is better than Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, I can tell you right now in this first impressions. And I hold that fragrance in higher regard than I hold Dior Homme Intense. So that should tell you a lot. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Blue Noir Parfum from Narciso Rodriguez and give it a spray now.
probably going to thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.